So yeah, guys, this is the lizard buggy. An absolutely fantastic... Okay, okay, I, I didn't expect that. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. Now, this week, we're starting off with a really cool vehicle. It's called the ST7 Marauder, and it is... A spherical wheeled tank design uh, that has some pretty impressive weaponry on it. And also, totally spherical wheels that makes uh, churning it very much like a tank, except it does kind of feel, when you're driving it, like a car. So it's got the best of both worlds, I guess you could say. Now, in terms of weaponry, it does have a cannon on the front, as well as some other things as well. Let's see if we can hit this tower. First shot here. Uh, there's no re real easy way to aim this thing up, so you just gotta hope for the best. That looks like a really good shot. Fire that cannon off, and it went right through the middle. Well, we do have one more thing we might have. Oh, ooh, did you see that? I can, I can move the top with it. Oh, it's shaking it. Come on, water cannon. Is it powerful enough to get it? I don't think it is. I'm gonna keep it on. It's pushing me back, as you can see. Not too much, but... We're just out of the range. All right, let's just move up a bit. All right, this should be good. Oh, it's so close. Come on, we just got to knock it down. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to go above the hill a little bit. Oh, God, that's what I was worried about. Oh, there we go. Finally, the air cannon does it. So, yeah, obviously the air cannon isn't really designed for long range. It's actually more designed to take out people like this. <laughs> I love water cannons. I keep calling it an air cannon. No, it is definitely a water cannon. There we go. Knock that guy down. Get that guy the heck out of here. Oh, can we push the balls? I, I never even noticed that, but uh, holy, I guess I can. Jesus, you know what? I want to try and use this ball. Oh, that's going to be fun. If we, can, if we can knock down the tower with the ball, because we can do that. And wow, does that ever go flying? All right, we're going to reset the map and try that out. But there's also a fire thing on this. I mean, this thing is weaponized like crazy. All right, we got quite a few shots, so let's try one. That went somewhat. I didn't. I don't even see where that went. I missed it. I saw it at the start, obviously, but then I totally lost it. So we got a bunch more here. I'm just gonna line them up, get these guys out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> and actually, this is gonna be a good shot here because we can use the ground right in front of it to kind of ramp itself up. And hopefully take out this tower. So, oh man, a little too far. You see, we hit that thing though and moved that whole planet. All right, third time's a charm. No, it's not. All right, gotta say, this is definitely harder than it seems, but. Oh! We did. Oh, we hit it and it didn't even fall. Are you serious? All right, well, we gave it our best shot. That's really cool though, that you can use the water cannon. Oh, and it falls down first try now when I'm not even looking at it. Great. And we hit a bomb. Actually, is this thing bomb-proof? No, I, whoa, what the heck just happened? It turned into a spinning top. There goes my wheel. And finally, we got one more thing going on with this. It has something called inertia dampening, which limits the speed of this to about 120 kilometers an hour, which is fast for a tank. But if we stop here and turn off inertia dampening, that's the button that did that. We should be able to actually go supersonic if we can Get up to that speed. So, it, yeah, as you can see. Oh, my God. Okay, turn, 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 turn. I'm going to hit the wall. Oh, oh, okay. Tis but a scratch. Actually, we have a broken back wheel. Oh, you know what? We're, we're just going to try and go. I'm not going to be able to get up it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Definitely not going to be able to get up that. All right. So, this thing's got a little bit of everything inside of it. It's not only fast, but it's very fun and a really good weapon. Let's just throw it into the wall one more time for good luck. There we go. All right, today we're gonna be playing with different types of missiles. This is simply called Five Highly Accurate Missiles. It's a proof of concept. And yes, it is five differently designed missiles that all are really, really good, but kind of react a little bit different in the air as well as into impact. So yeah, basically the designer just decided to design a bunch of different missiles to see which ones are awesome. And you can see they are quite different. We got some with one charge, some with multiple charges. For example, this far right one. This one's called the Hellfire missile, so I'm excited about that. It's also got a cap on the front, so I'm assuming it can penetrate before it explodes. But how about we just go down the line and see how these things react. So we are going in nice slow motion right now. We're starting on the left-hand side with the little guy. This one's called the Paragene missile. 
And, uh, yeah, let's just let it go and see what happens. So, it does definitely go down close to the ground, and then it slightly flies upwards. Uh, I think we're actually gonna miss the castle. That's okay, we got lots of shots to do. And then on impact, obviously, it explodes. All right, moving on to the Hawk missile. This one should hopefully uh, hit it this time. So this one has a little charge and then it starts dropping instead of going upwards like the other missile. This one, yes, direct hit. Uh, we did hit the tower that time and as you can see, exploded right away. All right, we're just gonna reset that. As we kill the tower, we will reset it. The next one, these are gonna get into the fun ones. Uh, we got the Spear of Destiny. Accurate name for it. It's definitely the largest missile, and I'm assuming this one can probably break through some rock before it actually explodes. I love how that one spins in the air as well. This one's actually going to be close to hitting the ground. We just took out a guy, and yes, that's why it hasn't blown up yet. Because of that spear, did it actually not blow up? Do we have a dud? What is going on? Oh, there it goes! <laughs> that delayed reaction there. So yes, the uh, front of it protected it, and it just exploded now. All right, well, we'll reset that castle. There was still a little bit of the castle left, but I want to have a nice new fresh one because we got the Duke's missile, and the Duke's missile's on the Duke's plea, so I got to assume this one's going to please. Ooh, that one right straight like a rocket. A little bit to the right, but yes, it actually went through it and then exploded behind it there, so that's a little unfortunate. All right, we're going to reset it, though, because we did put a hole in the wall, and finally... Hopefully the Hellfire Missile will be the one that does the most damage. That is going right straight like a rocket. And right into the door. Yes! Couldn't get much better than that. And just for fun, let's launch all five of these missiles. And we can see the different speeds at which they're going too, which is really cool. They're actually quite different. As you can see, there's still some hitting it. Uh, so yeah, definitely much different missiles as compared to each other. All very, very good though. And uh, definitely, as you can see, do some destruction. All right, now usually when we're in Blade Mountain, we don't have weaponized creations, but this is a weaponized off-roader, and it looks fantastic. I mean, look how cool this thing looks, and it's got some pretty unique weapons. We got grenades in the back, crossbows in the front, uh, and of course, missiles on top. Now, there's not too much to shoot with missiles in this world, but we'll try that. There we go. We took out that. Let's get rid of those missiles. Lighten the load a little bit, but also it's got grenades on the back. That's pretty cool. You can simply detach the grenades and then blow them up wherever you want. So we'll just detonate those. Why not? But let's try and see, most importantly, how good this off-roader is at off-roading. And you can see <laughs> the suspension actually goes crazy on these things, but... I mean, we just lost a piece of a panel. It's not breaking, which is obviously really good. Okay, we did have a break there. That was a really big fall. It's still going, though. And I just love that this thing is not only weaponized. Oh, there we go. We finally broke the wheel off. But it's also a really good off-roader. All right, let's try and take these mountains a little less aggressively. This is Blade Mountain, after all. And accurate to its name, it does totally destroy most suspension. So when we get down here... It should be a little bit more nice to us, and... Oh, never mind. Jesus! <laughs> oh, that's why you don't go off-roading with bombs on your hood. Jesus, there's the, there, there's what's left of me. I gotta say, though, if this thing could stay together a little bit more often, this would be one of the best off-roading vehicles I've ever seen. I love how bouncy it is. The uh, suspension definitely needs to be tightened a bit, I think. It's a little loose, so we're constantly bottoming out. But it is stable. Like, I'm going really, really fast right now. I've totally broken the thing. But it does kind of keep itself stable, which is impressive. Definitely might be a bit better in the Gobi Desert. This isn't so aggressive on the suspension. And we can still do uh, some small jumps, at least. So, yeah, this is going much, much better. Blade Mountain is a dangerous place. I shouldn't have went there first. But now, as you can see, you can kind of see how this thing reacts. It does work. Ooh, almost hit that rock. Really, really well, and I want to see if we can do a decent jump here somewhere. We got to find one. And upon playing with buttons, I didn't realize, but this thing also has a speed boost. So there, whoa, 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 Jesus. Holy, did we land that? Are you okay? I mean, we broke some paneling, but okay, there's some paneling stuck in my steering, and I can't steer, but that made it, man. That landed in it if it wasn't for that panel. So yeah, guys, this is the Lizard Buggy, an absolutely fantastic... Okay, okay, I, I didn't expect that. 
I'm praising you right now and you just combust into a million pieces. So yes, an off-roader with uh, missiles on it. It's a little dangerous, but you know what? Danger is off-roading's middle name, so this is just more fun. And randomly combusting like that is just what Besiege is all about. All right, check out this little guy. Now, this is a little assassin, and he is quite small. I think he's actually on par with the knight sizes, so I guess he's of normal size in Besiege. But he's got some pretty interesting weapons. First of all, he's got his handy-dandy dagger on the side, and you can swipe with it. And I guess it actually has a, a cannon that sucks in, so hopefully it gets uh, the enemies to go right into that dagger. Uh, that looks really cool. Obviously, it's got a crossbow on the side as well. And then he can also throw a grenade, and that's not a grenade, but that was really cool. Uh, so yes, his rocket grenade that goes on the ground and then right in front of him. So let's go see if we can actually kill these knights over here. All right, you filthy animals, let's tussle. So, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for a second here, and... Boop! <laughs> oh, man, that didn't kill him! All right, try and swipe. All right, there we go. I swiped him down. He's not out, though. Oh, man, I can't kill him. There we go. There we go. Just keep swiping. Come on, you guys are way bigger than me, and I'm flying. All right, you don't become a perfect assassin first try. Let's try that again, and... Wow, that really doesn't damage them too much. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's use the crossbow a bit, you know? I'd much rather deal with these guys with a crossbow... All right, these guys are getting too close for comfort. Slice and dice, slice and dice. Yeah, get the heck out of here. You on the ground there. There you go, slice and dice and pull back. All right, start shooting, start shooting. Get out of here. Oh man, they still sliced me in half. So they have that swipe that can slice me right in half. I do have one more secret weapon though. So I'm gonna try and uh, bundle these guys up. Let's see if we can actually kind of corral them here because uh, yeah, I think I can self explode. So let's try that. There we go. See you later, suckers. So when you can't beat them, you explode them, guys. And let's end off with a big one. We got the legendary T-55 main battle tank from the USSR. Uh, fun fact, one of the most, actually, the most produced tank in the world if you combine the T-54 and T-55 series. Now, this tank in Besiege also has an auto loader in place and some really interesting mechanisms. So, obviously, we're back at the Duke's plea. We're going to try and take that thing down. Actually, before I back up, I want to show you guys the auto loader. I actually really like how this tank is set up, too. This thing just falls on top of everything and sits in the place. But you can see the auto loader inside. And the way you actually set it up is really, really impressive. So yeah, we're all good to go. We're going to back up here and give this thing a good chance. You can see it does rotate too. I love how the thing just plops into place and then it is totally functional as well. All right, so that's a good distance away. Let's just do some target practice for fun. Again, we have lots of shots to do. So this is the aiming reticle. Now there's some kind of confusing things on the screen, but you'll understand how everything works in a second here. So the big square is our aiming reticle. That's where we have to shoot. So let's try and shoot this little thing down. We're going to explode. That was the wrong button. That was not in the fault of the tank itself. All right, let's try that again. This time we have to load the tank first. So I'm going to go out of that view just because I want to. And you can hear I actually did just load it. I think it moved a bit though. Maybe I'm crazy. Now that should be good. So again, we have to aim up with that square. So it's not the most accurate of uh, reticles, but uh, yeah, we're kind of in that square area. So we'll launch it. Now you might think, oh, wow, there was actually a lot of bullet drop there. But you might think that this thing uses cannons. No, it indeed uses missiles, which is really cool. Not many tanks in the game do. So obviously we need to account for the bullet drop, we know that now. Let's go for the main shot because I don't think this is gonna be an easy tank to aim, but I wanna show you how you reload this. It does have an auto loader, but you still gotta set it up. So this is a really smart idea because we can't see the auto loader. You actually wait for the next reticle to pop up. So uh, we're rotating it, there we go. And you just put it in the middle, it's ready to go. You install the rocket, let's wait for the click. There it is, and we are good to go. So. Like I said before, the bullet drop is quite drastic in this, so we're going to try something like that. Uh, let's go out of this camera and shoot it up. There we go. Oh, yeah, direct hit. Okay, so I did judge for the bullet drop. You saw how that shot got lobbed, though? It actually spun in the air. And, of course, I mean, I've never seen this before. Look at this. This is like when you're playing Jenga with your annoying cousin and he does something that truly blows your mind. I mean, how is that thing staying up? That's impressive. 
All right, let's go back to the actual tank. We still got lots of shots in this, so let's see if we can redo this. And we're just gonna rotate it, wait for it. I love this aiming, or I love this reloading scheme because it's absolutely brilliant, so that's all good. It's more or less, the hard part is, I really wish it actually went a bit slower or if it had two gears because trying to set this up perfectly, ah, see, that's the problem. It's not, it's not that easy. <laughs> All right, that should be good enough. I don't think it's going to fall out of the chamber or anything, so load it up. There we go, and launch it. Come on, take it down. Yes, there we go, direct hit, and we took the sucker down. All right, so I gotta say, it might not have the fastest of cannons, but it feels the most realistic. It's actually shooting ballistic missiles out of it instead of big cannonballs. I mean, a tank doesn't shoot those. They're usually more missile-like. So I gotta say, I really do love this one, and yeah, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode of the Best Besieged Creations here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What is going on behind me? What are you guys doing? Seriously, I'm trying to outro this video. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.